is given 81 power sine square x plus 81 power cos square x is equal to 30. So we have to find out the value of x here. How we can find out the value of x? Let's see solution. eighty one power sine square x plus eighty one power cos square x is equal to thirty. This is quotient, right? So we know one formula that is sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one, right? Therefore, cos square theta is equal to we can write one minus sine square theta. Now, using this formula here, we can write this one. 81 power sine square x plus 81 power cos square x. So, cos, cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sine square theta. So, we can write this one. 1 minus sine square x is equal to 30. Now, 81 power sine square x plus here 81 power 1 minus sine square x. So we can write this one 81 power 1 times 81 power sine square x. Uh, sorry minus sine square x is equal to 30. Because we know one formula here. Uh, we are applying here one formula that is if a power m plus n is given. So we can write a power m times a power n. So using this formula here 81 power 1 times 81 uh, power minus sine square x. Right. Now. 81 power sine square x plus 81 power 1 that is 81 and this is 81 power minus sine square x so we can write this one 81 uh, divided by here 81 power sine square x this is minus sign when it will uh, goes in denominator it will become positive so 81 power sine square x is equal to 30. Now 81 power sine square x here 81 power sine square x. So we can consider this one. Let's consider 81 uh, 81 power sine square x is equal to a. So when we uh, we consider this one a, so we can write this one a plus 81 upon a is equal to 30, right? 81 power sine square x that is a plus 81 divided by 81 power sine square x that is a so 81 power divided by a is equal to 30 now we can take here lcm so a and here it will become a square plus 81 is equal to 30 now a square plus 81 equal to 30 a right now a square minus 30a plus 81 equal to 0. We uh, we got here one equation form that is a square minus 30a plus 81 equal to 0. Now we have to solve this one. Now here 81. So 81 we can say here 27 times 3. 27 times 3 is equal to 81 and 27 plus 3 is equal to 30 30 and 81 so we can take this 27 and 3 so here a square minus 27 27 a minus 3 a minus 27 a minus 3 a that is 30 a plus 81 equal to 0 right we can write this way now we can take here common a so we are taking a common so left term that is a minus 27 and here also a minus 27 equal to 0 now minus 3 minus 3a and 27 3 is a 81 minus minus plus 81 equal to 0 now a minus 27 first bracket and here common this is a minus 27 next one is a minus 3 so a minus 3 equal to 0 now we got here again two equation that is first one is a minus 27 equal to 0 and a minus 3 equal to 0 so a minus 27 equal to 0 or a minus 3 equal to 0 here a equal to 27 and here a equal to 
3 right but we already considered that you can recall a is equal to 81 power sin square x right so we can say a equal to 81 power sin square x is equal to in first condition that is 27 so we can say here 81 power sin square x uh, sin square x is equal to 27 sin square x is equal to 27 and here uh, a equal to 81 power sin square x sin square x is equal to 3 this one right now 81 power sin square x so this 81 we can write here this 81 we can write 3 power uh, 3 power 4 3 power 4 is 81 so 3 power 4 power sin square x is equal to 27 now 3 power 4 power sin square x is equal to this is 27 so we can write this one 3 power 3 3 power 3 is 27 now comparing base and uh, power so we can see here comparing base and power this is base 3 power 3 right so here 3 here 3 so we can see here comparing base and power we will get here 4 sin square x is equal to 3 power is here 4 sin square x and here 3 so we can write this one 4 sin square x is equal to 3 because base is same here 3 so now here uh, sin square x we can say sin square x is equal to 3 by 4 3 by 4 therefore sin x we can take here square root so sin x is equal to plus minus square root of 3 by 4 right now sin x is equal to plus minus square root of 3 divided by this is 4 so square root of 4 is value well, will be 2 so plus minus square root of 3 by 2 this is the value of sin x now we are taking second equation that is 81 uh, power sin square x is equal to 3. So here again we can say 81 will be 3 power 4. 3 power 4 power sin square x is equal to 3 power 1. Now again we can compare here base and power. So base will be same 3. So comparing power we will get here 4 sin square x is equal to 1 right therefore sin square x is equal to 1 by 4 now taking square root taking square root on both sides we will get here sin square x square root is equal to square root of plus minus 1 by 4 so square is cancelled from square root we can say sin x is equal to plus minus 1 by 4. So plus minus square root of 1 square root of 4. Sin x sin x is equal to plus minus value of 1 is 1. Square root of 1 is 1 and square root of 4 is value will be 2. So plus minus 2. So we can say value of sin x is equal to plus minus 1 by 2 but we have to find out the value of x now we have to see what is the value of x here so we can say here sin theta sin theta that is sin x when sin theta will be 60 or 120 or 240 or 300 then value will be square root of 3 by 2 so we can say value of x is equal to where 60 120 60 degree 120 degree 240 degree or 300 degree from this equation now here sin x so in second form sin x is equal to plus uh, minus 1 by 2 at that time value sin theta is equal to we can say when theta will be sin theta will be 30 degree 150 degree 210 degree and 330 degree 
at that time value of uh, sin theta is equal to plus minus 1 by 2. So, this is the correct solution for this equation. Thank you.